India's Mega Sun mission Aditya L1 completed its third orbit raising maneuver. The spacecraft is now in an orbit of 296 kilometers. Next key maneuver is scheduled on September 15th. Aditya L1, India's first solar space mission, embarked on its journey on September 2nd, marking a remarkable leap in the space exploration sector. Aditya L1, India's first sun observation mission, aims to unlock valuable insights into our sun, offering a deeper understanding of our solar system. Now let me go across to my colleague Dharani who is joining us on the phone line. Dharani, a very good morning to you and as we are learning that another maneuver is planned on September 15th while it has completed its third orbit rising maneuver. Give us more insight into what all is planned ahead of September 15th and on September 15th. Over to you. Aditya L1 is supposed to undergo a five orbit rising maneuver. So this is the third one that has been uh, performed successfully. Uh, ISRO has put out a tweet that the third earthbound maneuver has been performed successfully from uh, the ISRO headquarters in Bengaluru. And you know, after uh, uh, this you know, uh, third uh, maneuver, now uh, the new orbit uh, assigned is 296 kilometers across uh, uh, 1767 kilometers, and we have two more. Uh, you know, orbit rising maneuver to be performed, right? And uh, the next one, the fourth one, will be performed on September 16, around uh, uh, 2 uh, uh, p.m. is what I was going to understand. So, definitely, as I told, five orbit rising maneuver is supposed to be uh, performed before uh, uh, the I will be injected uh, you know, into uh, a journey uh, towards uh, the Lagrange uh, 1 uh, point. Uh, so, uh, and third orbit rising maneuver, the next one will take place in September 15. Uh, five days later. Uh, definitely, this is a very crucial mission for India because this is the first time that we are sending an aircraft uh, to study the outer atmosphere of the sun and uh, for any country to be uh, you know, independent in terms of uh, space sector, it is very important to have uh, you know, uh, their own research materials. 